What's up, boys? It's your boy. Got three Crystal Beast decks we in the mail, structure decks. We're going to be opening these. As you see here, I've been spending a lot of money. I've got a Dark World deck, I've got a Salomon Grey deck, and I've even got a Trap Tricks deck coming. Don't know which one I'm going to play at Worlds yet. I mean, to YCS, yeah. But that's coming up. So stay tuned for that vlog. But yeah, I've got a few deck profiles coming. I did buy three Dark World structure decks, obviously, because I built the deck. But I'm not going to do a video opening those because I'm going to do a deck profile. But yeah, stay tuned for that as well. But anyway, let's get into these. I'm excited. So boys, here we have them. Take a look at the box art. Really nice box art, to be fair. And so yeah, that's just... Open one of these bad boys. So of course you get the mat. So just kind of got the big boss monster in it, of course. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool play mat to be honest. But uh, yeah, that's just. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, there we go. And there you go. Look, we got the rainbow dragon in front. Let's just open all of them. And there we have it, boys. There is three, three stru structured decks. So yeah, let's just only open one, obviously, on the thing, and then we'll see if we make a deck out of these. And here we go. So obviously, you get three packs, three structured decks. So these are all the cards you'll be getting. So let's just start. One really nice rainbow dragon. One really nice rainbow dragon overdrive. Look at that, it's beautiful. And obviously Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon as well. The got the spells. In holographic looking lovely. You get one rainbow over dragon. Then you get a few uh, tokens. Always nice. And then here, you don't use all the cards in this day if you're going to build it meta. Usually you build like Crystal uh, Beast Conclave. And then there's even a Cash Tier engine that I'm pretty sure that Neshi made or sent. But here we have Crystal Beast Ruby, Amethyst, Emerald Tortoise, Topaz Tiger, Amber Mammoth, Cobalt Eagle, the classic card, Sapphire Pegasus. Everyone loves this card. Dark Dragon. Then we have a few pendulums, Crystal Master and Crystal Keeper, Lord of Strife and Thunder, Dimension Shift. Now this card is really good. Even in today's meta, like you can just take this out of the uh, Shush deck if you want and shoot, have, have copies of that. Contact Sue. Once again, another great card, obviously, Ash Blossom. You can never have too many Ash Blossoms, remember that. Ghost Spill and Haunted Mansion, another actually really good... Uh, What's it called? Uh, hand trap. You want to keep those as well. We can have the crystal armor, crystal ages, ancient Rainbow rules, rainbow bridge, crystal beacon, crystal blessing, crystal abundance, crystal promise, crystal tree, crystal release, rare value, memory refraction, advanced art, melee of the waking dragon. This card's very cool. You can use it with blue eyes as well. Obviously, <laughs> that's what I do. I got the, you know, the Secret Res. Foolish Barrel, another really good staple card. See, the, the good thing about these structure decks is they all come with really good staple cards. So, Cosmic Cyclone, another really good staple card. So, even if you just buy them and don't end up using the structure, it's always good to just have because, yeah, they always come with really great cards. Crystal Boon, Crystal Miracle, Crystal Brilliant, Crystal Pear, Crystal Conclave. Good card, good card. Ultimate Crystal Mage, Counter Gem, Fair Flames, Metaverse, more tokens, and obviously the uh, just the things they put in there. <laughs> the end of it. But yeah, overall, not a bad shush deck. Obviously, Trap Tricks one that I've got coming is a bit better than the uh, than the Crystal Beast, and it, also the Dark World ones a tad better, probably. Yeah, to be honest, it is. But again, this don't don't sleep on this this stretch deck. You should get it. It's 
if you're if you're thinking about playing Crystal Beast, they are still prominent. Well, they're not prominent, but if you get the right build of Crystal Beast, trust me, you can win games. It is not a dead deck. So if you want to, by all means, play it. Trust me. But anyway, I'm gonna now think of a build. Well, I'm gonna research, and then once, yeah, once I've got a build, I'll try and get a deck build for you guys to use based on just the pure structured decks with no added cards. So here we go. All right, boys, I have made the deck now. As you see, I haven't even sleeved it yet. This is literally straight out of the box, but I'll show you kind of the deck build that you can go for. I've also got some alternatives you can run in it from the thing that I'll show after. But let's start with this card. This card's really good. So you, two Rainbow Dragon. You can have this as one because this card here, uh, was it, sorry, Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, yeah. This card, this can actually search this here. So you can actually run like one of these if you want, but yeah, I'm running two because two of these as well. So you kind of got two Rainbow Dragon, two Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, and then I've got two Pegasus. Okay, this is the thing with this card, right? A lot of people will run this at three, but I'm running it at two. It's re it is really good, but at the same time, once its effect's been used, uh, it's not amazing after that, but it's definitely a card you should consider running at three. But I'm running two now. I've got the, the one of each. You need to run. You have to run uh, at least one of each because you need a special summon, of course. And yeah, you're kind of required to, but sadly these are kind of bricks. Like you don't really want to, yeah, you can brick off these, but you need to run at least one of each to be honest with you. But you can consider actually running two of these. This is also another one where it's like you can, you either run three of these or two, and you either run two of these or one, but yeah, you want to have the rest of them as well. So one of those, Plus Crystal Beast. Then I'm running Triple Crystal Master. I'm only running one of these, uh, Keeper. You can run three. You can actually take this out completely if you want, but I'm running one because I'm running, if I was gonna run more, I'd probably take out an over, a Rainbow Dragon, and I'd probably take out a spell, a trap that we'll get to later, but yeah, so there, that's what I'm running for the Pendulums. Then, of course, we got the hand traps. Oh, sorry. Leave that out of the way. Obviously, triple ash, triple haunted. Great cards. Obviously, will help you stop other boards. Uh, there's also Dimension Shift, which is another good card, but we're not running that right now. You you can uh, obviously choose to run that. But I'll show you that later on. Then we've got the searches. Triple Crystal Bond. You want to run three of these. Triple Rainbow Bridge, you want to run three of these. And Triple uh, Rainbow Bridge of the Heart, you want to run three of these, every single one if you're just using the shot straight. These are really great. And these obviously will help you uh, get your cards up. So yeah, run triple of those, definitely in my opinion. And then we have Triple Rare Value, really nice card. This is why you can only need to run two Pegasus. Because this card is a plus two, of course. And yeah, it's not searchable, whereas Pegasus is searchable. So you could, this isn't searchable really, or very easily. So I like to run three of these, but you can run three of these and three Pegasus. But yeah, you definitely want to run f at least three of those. Then Awaken of the Crystal Ult Ultimate. Obviously, there's a lot of not useful cards in this deck. So you want to run three of, of like kind of most of these spells here. So yeah, they're they're pretty good. Sorry, let me just move them out of the way for you. And then we have Triple Crystal Miracle, another great card. We have two Conclave, and then we have one Ultimate Crystal Ma Magic. This is the card that I was saying if you want to run two, uh, if you want to run two Ruby Carbuncle, I'd say take this out. But again, this is also a really good card, so you might not want to, because this will really help you get your boss monster out. But yeah, 
and run in one of those as well, because why, why not run one, right? You're on structured deck, we're not adding any cards to it, so yeah, for the extra deck, obviously, you got free overdrive and free normal rainbow over dragon. Honestly, when you summon this out, you want to win that turn, otherwise, you're probably going to lose the game. But yeah, this is the best one, definitely get that out. And now we're going to talk about alternatives that you can run. So, hold on. You can add an extra Ruby Carbuncle. You can add an extra Pegasus. So just think about that. And then Triple Contact C. This card is generally good. It's not like it's not good good in the meta currently because there's a lot of like one of links. But yeah, think about running this Triple Cosmic Cyclone. Obviously, staple card. Banish spells if you're versing a really annoying deck. Triple Dimension Shifter, another one. Great, great card. Triple Foolish Burial, because it's Foolish Burial, right? <laughs> and then I've also got two Crystal Keeper if you want to run both Keeper and Master at three. But yeah, that's the deck profile, boys. Obviously, go experiment yourself, run the copies you want. But yeah, there's just a few options for you. So boys, there you go, there's the deck. Obviously I'm not a Crystal Beast Master, don't get me wrong, so uh, if you wanna look at some other builds, and obviously, if you wanna improve the deck, you're gonna have to add more cards to it. So, yeah, just look at videos if you wanna improve it, but yeah, uh, that's everything from me. It's been your boy, and I'll see you in the next one when I have another deck profile. I think that's my next video, I'm not sure yet. And also, YCS London coming up, stay tuned for that, but peace out.